Welcome Knights of Apollo to a brand new Bannerlord adventure. This time we're playing Thrones, or what is it called? Realm of Thrones. This of course obviously is a Game of Thrones mod and my goodness, look at this campaign map. Look how cool this looks. This looks fantastic and it's massive. Just massive. You got Westeros and you got the Eastern play. What is it? Essos or something? Yeah, there's a lot of cities. There's a lot of factions. Of course, the factions you know and love. So, guys, this is going to be a lot of fun. So, meet our protagonist, the hero of this story, this great adventure, Stephen Ironhorn. Now, while the lords, ladies, and kings of Westeros are fighting for the one sweet prize, which, of course, is King's Landing. Stephen Ironhorn spits on King's Landing. He doesn't give a damn about it. Instead, his only prize is revenge. You see, the Ironhorn house was an ancient but humble house, and their fief was known as Hammerhorn. But their rival, ugh, their rival known as House Good Brother, spoke sweet lies to the king the Greyjoys, and they they lied to them into convincing them that house ironhorn was going to betray him and assassinate the king so the Greyjoys summoned an army accompanied with a small army from the good brothers and they lay siege to hammerhorn it fell within hours because they didn't see it coming and the troops stormed in and butchered the entire house of Ironhorn, except for one. Stephen Ironhorn, who escaped the siege by his father's orders. He wanted to fight and die, of course, but he was the last of the bloodline. And the only chance of redemption and revenge was for Stephen to flee, to escape to mainland Westeros, and to build a strong army. An army strong enough that could single-handedly take down the Iron Isles to seek that sweet, sweet nectar known as revenge to slaughter the Greyjoys and most especially the Good Brothers. So Stephen Ironhorn has no allegiance. He has no allies. He doesn't care what kings bicker about in the mainland. He's simply here to fight as a mercenary, to join any king that will pay him and to help him gain skills and traits and raise an army that will see the destruction of the Greyjoys. So uh, yeah, that's our story. Uh, pretty cool, right? And I also noticed Steven here, see how it's spelt? I noticed that Martin, you know, with his characters, they have common names, but they're like spelt slightly off. So this is my attempt to uh, <laughs> Steven. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Steven Ironhorn. So yeah, pretty cool. And guys, don't forget to lay siege to the like button. I work very hard on these videos. They're really fun, but they are a lot of effort. And to help get these videos to as many eyes as possible, be sure to leave a comment, like, and share. I mean, literally, it's like, just pick up your fat finger and just press the like button, you piece of shit. I'm just kidding. Of course, just like the video. I do appreciate it. And every like this video gets, I'll stick a mochi up my ass. All right. Well, let's uh, get our adventure going. Our journey begins here. Now, of course, our sigil is the great iron fish. Now, way cooler than the stupid fish of the Riverlands. What is it? House Tully or Tully or whatever. Who, who cares? Their fish is lame. Our fish is cool. It's a white fish with a sea blue backdrop. I think it looks, you know, really nice. And also, if you look closely at the fish, he's got a cute little smile. He's got a cute little smile. I've got a thousand gold. Steven escaped with a thousand gold to his name. He's got a mace, it looks like, and a shield. No horse. I mean, this is the Ironborn. They don't really like horses that much. You know, they're more of like a sea, whatever. Uh, but we need to just muster an army. And again, I will have no bias, no judgment on any type of troop that I muster into my army. It could be Northmen. It could be Dorn people. It could be the Riverland people. I don't give a damn. If they'll fight for me, then they're good for me. So I'm just going to go around and just recruit troops wherever I see fit. Now we're right next to Bane Fort. 
uh, which is a small castle that belongs to the Westerlands. Uh, so the uh, well, that would be the, like the Lannisters and whatnot. We got Casterly Rock over here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just go to the nearest village and get this army going because there's going to be bandits about. And look at this, the Greyjoys. They're looking for them. We've got two ships looking for Steven because they know that he escaped and he's the last of the Iron Horn. Ooh, some loose ends there. Will it bite you in the butt? I certainly hope so. <laughs> oh, shit. Literally right when we were about to enter the castle, these bandits come out of nowhere. Not the castle, the village. The bandits come out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we got stuck into a fight. Now, we could try to fight this. I, I probably shouldn't do it without a... I, I think we're going to have to work something out with the bandits. Well, they're only asking for 145 gold, so it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, we made it to the nearest village. It's known as Bane Village, and we're going to recruit some troops. Oh, sweet. Sweet. We got one guy. Now, he is a Westerlin, so he will turn into, like, the really cool, like, squid-looking, uh, you know, uh, Lannister-looking unit. Um, we can also turn him into... I mean, he, he could go any down... He can go down any route here. We can go crossbow. We can go uh, swordmen, horsemen, archers. I really don't know which unit is good for each faction i really should like try to figure out what to get for each faction you know uh but we'll just you know whatever we'll just play by ear and see how it goes okay we got our first soldier that's awesome but we're gonna need a lot more also while we're here we need some delicious grain to keep the uh one soldier happy okay we got some food we got a troop not exactly enough here there's literally Bandits everywhere, and they're known as broken men. I really do hope one day someone fixes them. Well, good news. We safely got into Iron Bay. I like the name. I really do. Uh, we're going to recruit... Ah, we got some... Actually, some really good calf here that can turn into Westerland Banner Knights. So, that's cool. Oh, but they're really expensive. It's going to cost us 600 gold. And we only have 732. So, I'm just going to get one unit of calf. Unfortunately, that's just a little too steep for me. Uh, and we're just going to keep traveling and hopefully get to another village to recruit more soldiers. Oh, guys, I completely forgot. You're probably wondering, what is Steven good at? Well, let's look at his stats. So Stephen is actually the son of a blacksmith. Now, I know that's not a profession of a lord or a king or whatever, but to house Ironhorn, smithing is a long tradition. So all of the children of House Ironhorn are learn basics of smithing because it runs deep in their veins. Also, he's very good at tactics, leadership. He can do some steward. Not really. He's got zero there. He's one-handed is pretty good. So overall, he's a pretty good commander, blacksmith, and he can wield a sword decently. So he's, he's got a lot of work to do. You know, I think I'm going to head down south. I think it's a little safer that way. There's a lot of villages in a small area so I think we're going to be able to amass a big force in a short amount of time. We're going to need to do it soon because we're going to have to start fighting bandits or broken men. I really do hope someone fixes them one day. But we're going to have to start fighting them to start gathering up some wealth because our, our we're going to lose money fast, okay? <laughs> oh, look who it is. It's the eight broken men that dare halted me and took 145 gold for me. You know what? I know the overall arc of this story is revenge. Well, I think we can get a little revenge in this episode. Ah, eh, you know what? Eh, that bounce of power is not looking too good. So I'm going to maybe, maybe next time, maybe, maybe next episode. All right. Here's the next village. Uh, like I said, we're headed down south of Westeros towards uh, Casterly Rock. Let's hope that they got some good troops here. Ah, they got one horseman. Well, they're very expensive. I don't have the money for them, so I'm going to have to pass. I didn't think it was going to be this challenging to recruit like 10 guys, but we kind of need to hurry up because there's bandits everywhere. And we, I feel like so vulnerable right now. Like it, it, this is bad. We, we got to recruit something here. Here we go. Come on. 
damn it. It's okay. It's okay. We just got to stay positive. On to the next village. Let us hope that uh, bandits don't show up. All right. No bandits waiting in the trees. That's good. Please. Oh, thank goodness. You got one guy. Thank you. Yay. We're up to four. Wow. A whole four after visiting multiple villages. Off to the next one. <laughs> and nothing absolutely nothing now one thing to consider guys is when we pass big cities we got case over here uh yeah looks pretty big it's got a nice port there we got to check to see if they have any tournaments tournaments are going to be a great way to kind of make a name for ourselves remember we want to be a sought after mercenary band of troops so kind of establishing a name is going to be pretty important there's not a tournament here but we can check if they have any recruits ah thank goodness finally more than one recruit uh so that's gonna cost 60 gold that's gonna bring us up to eight troops we can get like i don't know maybe two more i'll feel a little bit better but we should start hunting down other bandits oh look at this we've got a army of 11 of broken men man i really hope someone fixes them Let's see if we can squeeze past them oh please 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 okay all right. Oh, oh, how the turntables. We're going to turn this on him. Come here. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> you got a problem. Yeah, I got a problem. You re Don't act like you weren't chasing me, you asshole. Yeah, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Well, I'm going to come. I'm going to. I'm going to. Let's, let's just fight. Okay. So what do they got? They got, uh, they got eight infantry and some archers, I believe, behind the infantry. Jeez, these troops look really bad. So do I. Look like I'm wearing a potato sack. I got this rusty old mace. Uh, I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. All right. Charge. Charge. Let's do this, guys. For the iron fish. For the iron horn. Yeah, good charge. Come on. Triple team if you can. Yeah. Help. No, you bastard. Yes. Nice job, guys. All right. All that's left are the archers. Shields up. Oh, wait. I'm the only one with the shield. Oh, jeez. Oh, get out of here. Oh, get him. Get him. Get him. Don't let him kill our brother in arms. Yes. Yes. Steven's first victory with a ragtag group of losers. But we did lose four soldiers in the chaos. All right, now we do have some prisoners here. I'm going to go ahead and take them because like I said, I don't care who's in my army just as long as they're loyal to me and they will help me take back the Iron Isles. But the good news is that uh, seven troops are ready for upgrade. This is kind of cool. Look at these units that we can we can turn them into. This is this is pretty cool. I think I might just go with the crossbow build. At the, at the start here, just have a bunch of crossbows. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to be able to kill a lot from afar. Yeah, we'll, may, we'll make them all crossbows. The squire is also ready to level up. Now he's a Westerlin's galliant. Oh, look at him. I'm going to be honest. Uh, seeing this epic armor and then seeing my sigil on his shield is kind of disgusting. Now, of course, we need to take all of the food or, or, or loot, whatever. You know what I mean? Well, with our first victory under our belt, Steven is feeling extra confident right now. Let's go to the famous Casterly, Casterly Rock. Is this just a castle or is this a city? I think it's just a castle, but let's go check it out. Actually, hold on. Yeah, some broken men over here. Let's go chase them down. Oh, to the ends of the earth. Huh? huh? Ned Stark's execution. Ned Stark has just been executed for treason. The lion and the wolf are at each other's throats. Stannis and Renly Baratheon are calling their banners to claim what they think is rightfully theirs. The war of the five kings have begun. You have been thrusted into the grim world of deceit and treachery. Amidst all of the turmoil... Dude, trust me, I lost my house. I already know what this is like. Many opportunities will make a name for themselves. The path you will choose, just remember, if you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Well, good thing I'm not playing the Game of Thrones. I'm playing the Game of Revenge. Okay, well, we didn't get there in time. We're going to help this lord crush this army. I'm just going to send in the troops. It's, uh, it's easy peasy. Yeah, we literally gained nothing from that except 0.5 morale. All right, we made it to Casterly Rock, and yeah, sure enough, it is just a castle, so I don't know, it's 
Yeah, this, it, it's cool. It's cool. It looks cool. Uh, but we're going to move on uh, to Lannisport. No, wait. Lannisport. Lannisport. Lana oh, there's a tournament here. Okay, I probably have no chance of winning this tournament, but I got to try. Uh, we can also recruit no one here, so that's awesome. Okay. Well, our first matchup here is big old team battle. We got four teams. We're red team, so... Oh, we get a horse, too, that I probably won't be able to ride. Uh, we're going to bet all our money. Is this really a dumb idea? I think it is. Let's do it anyways. All right, we got a crossbow here. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a that's a whiff. Come on, red team. Oh, yeah, red team. Oh, the game's freezing. All right, come on, come on, come on. This is terrifying. I feel so weak. I feel so weak, and everybody looks like they're on red team. Nice. Okay. Red team. Oh, oh. All right, red team. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, get them. Get them. Red team. Red team. Red team. Red team. Red team. Oh my gosh. I just realized we had Jamie Lannister on our team. Not only that, but the green team has uh, the hound. Oh, this is kind of cool. We stand no chance of winning this tournament. No chance. So instead of Jamie Lannister being on my team, I'm now with some Westerlands duelist. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think I'm going to stop betting on the tournament because I I'm going to need my money. All right, what do I got here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, who am I taking on? Okay, yellow. Yellow's just a bunch of nobodies. We can take them on. Come on. That's right. That's right. Oh, no. What? What's going on? Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, my teammate. Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Don't fight me. Fight this guy. Oh, oh we made it. Okay. Okay. We made it. Oh, my God. Look at that armor. Okay. Well, we made it. Um, We got further than the hound, which is impressive. But we're going to have to take on Jamie Lannister. Let's hope that I have the crossbow. I don't have the crossbow. Oh, boy. It's a two-handed weapon. I suck with two-handed weapons. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes! Yes! Oh! He's shooting at me, you a-hole. Come on, kill him. I'll keep him occupied. Please shoot him. He's standing right there. Just shoot him. Come on. I don't want to fight him. Oh, yes. Uh. Uh. No. No. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, we're so screwed. We're so screwed. No, he's landing every shot. Yes. Yes. Headshot. Well done. Well done. It's down to this. I have no business making it this far, but I feel like we got to bet now. Everything's on the table. This is it. Do or die. I'm so screwed. I got so lucky the last time. Flag. Oh, no. Oh. Well, guys, that was a bitter end to this tournament, but we can't be too upset. We made it pretty far. And look at this. We Westerlands duelists made it further than Jamie Lannister in the Hound. Well, maybe it's a bad idea to fight in tournaments that is home to the greatest swordsman in all of Westeros. <laughs> okay. Well, the good news is that we have some stuff to sell, so we'll make 600 gold. So it's not the end of the world, but damn, that sucked. Also, we have a broken man. He's just broken. I can fix him. Join us, broken man.
And it looks like we leveled up. So what should we improve? I do eventually want to ride on a horse. So I think I'm going to put a, a point on the horse riding skill. Well, we leave Lannisport defeated, but not humiliated, humiliated, not embarrassed. We do. We don't leave embarrassed. We made it pretty far. So we're going to continue to go to the villages and try to recruit an army that will continue to hunt down bandits to acquire wealth. All right. Well, we got a couple troops here and there. Uh, we're starting to run out of money. So hopefully we can come across some bandits or possibly another tournament. Uh, just kind of looking around. There's not a lot of cities in this area. There's only Lannisport. And I guess we could travel to High Garden and get some uh, Reach soldiers. That would, that would be kind of cool. Ah, there we go. We came across a bandit army. Let's go chase it down. Okay. Shh. Well, we're surrounded by two armies here. I think we can beat them. I think we can. So we actually have four. <laughs> this is perfect timing. We have four prisoners that want to join us. Oh, and they run away. All right, let's go for the 10 group because there's one more which means more loot. Yeah, not having horses is a problem. We're like the exact same speed as him. We are traveling very... Oh, what is this? Robber knights? Okay, okay, okay. We're out, we're out, we're out. Help, help. Oh no, oh no, how the turntables. Okay, good news. We're way faster than the robber knights. <laughs> good news. Okay, we came to another... Uh, village that almost sounds like a hobbiton like shire city name like brandy bottom brandy bottom i like that but they've got three soldiers here so um one will turn into a cav unit oh look at these reach champion this is so cool these guys look awesome so yeah we'll add them to the army that's gonna almost max out our army at 20 men. Oh, look who it is. It's the 10 uh, broken men. Let's go try to fix them. And when I say fix them, I mean put an arrow in his brain and put him in a dirt nap. All right, we're closing in. We're getting closer and closer. Come on, dang it. Oh, huh? oh no. This dude is like the ugliest guy I've ever seen. And look at his, like, look at his companion back there. Like, these are the most, like, stereotypical villain looking people that I've ever seen in my life. Well, we got ourselves in a tricky situation. We're outnumbered by five. Bounce of power is looking terrible. Let's see if we can work something out. Oh, jeez. I think we got to give it to him. That leaves us with, like, no money. This is a desperate... Or should we fight him? Right, you know what? Let's fight him. I'm not... I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm sick of this. Okay, let's not forget we've got um some good crossbows here. We also have this beautiful high ground. So let's get the archers up here and the infantry a little bit lower. Now they're probably going to send the cab first. Oh man, I wish I had some better weapons than this. This this kind of sucks. Let's send my cab to go fight the Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting wrecked. This is not good. Oh, kill. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Here comes all this infantry. Oh, no. Look at all the... Come on. Oh, no. Help. Help. Get him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me, let me try to get these archers. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he, he literally killed me by just running into me. Come on, crossbows. You can do this. Come on. Yes. You can do this. Yes. No, 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 no. Well, I have discovered that the Westeros mainland is a cruel and harsh place. They're offering me freedom if I pay them 187 gold. That's literally all my gold. I can't afford that. We're going to have to just continue to be their slave, I guess. Now they're offering 149. That's still way too much. I'm going to wait. 
Oh, we escaped. Guys, this sucks. This this robber, th these robber guys, they suck. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm literally surrounded. I I, I don't know what to do. I, I just, please leave me alone, please. Oh, okay, we made it to a village known as Stable Hill. Sounds like some kind of country album or something, but we're gonna see if we can, yeah, we can recruit some soldiers, but guys, I don't have much money. I can't afford these these horses and I, I gotta buy some food here too. It's pretty cheap here, but it's gonna go quick. This is not good, guys. This is, uh, this is not good. I would love to try to go into High Garden, but it's literally literally patrolled by so many just bandit groups that i don't know maybe we can go the long way around but come on high garden like the reach like try to clean up your territory you got bandits everywhere it certainly can't be good for trade oh great now we got force bandits over here now there's three of them we could try taking them on i did level up so my one-handed uh basher is definitely a good a good one 50 percent damage with longer stun duration that's gonna be pretty good with my shield uh, this is not gonna be an easy battle well let's go for it yeah we're kind of desperate here we kind of have to fight this one okay okay shoot at me shoot at me i'm gonna try to distract them here shoot at me shoot at me shoot at me oh damn Damn, here we are again. <laughs> Down to 137 gold. Well, the good news is that he's headed towards High Garden. Ah, oh, we escaped. Run! Run for High Garden, please! Flee! Okay, we're gonna make it, guys. But there's no tournament here. There's nobody to recruit either. Uh, High Garden brought nothing but sad, sad disappointment. If we look closely, there is a city nearby called Ashford. Maybe they're, maybe they're hosting a tournament. I really don't know, but hopefully they got some troops there. They're also part of the Reach, so they got some cool Reach soldiers, so that's cool. I, I don't know. God, this is, this is not going well for Steven. We really need a miracle here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Pirates, pirates are roaming around in the Reach. Like, come on, guys. Like... It's almost comical how many bandits there are. And there's another one. It's almost as if, like, there's more bandits and bad guys than just normal people. Oh, look, a, 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 a soldier. We got a soldier here. I have no food. I don't think I can afford food. So we basically got to recruit some soldiers and get straight into a battle and hopefully win and then buy some food and stuff. Okay, this is this is hopeful. We got four troops here. That's going to bring us down to 62 gold. And it costs about 10 gold per day. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this. We got to wait for this a-hole to leave. Just wasting our time and wasting our money. Thanks a lot, A hole okay well unfortunately there's no tournament here but maybe they got some soldiers nope well there's a village nearby that we haven't checked out hopefully they've got some soldiers oh hello, hello. okay hold on hold on hold on i got an idea keep following keep following if there's a soldier here we can turn and face him oh this might work out this might let's just do nine so he doesn't run away i leveled up what should we improve athletics sure here we go this is this is it this is it. This is our chance to get back and to, and to climb our way back into Westeros and not be a homeless man. Okay, okay. Oh, nice. All right, they have three archers, seven infantry. We we outnumber the infantry. We just got to separate them from the archers and we can win this. Guys, follow me. We can win this. Okay, let me just, let me just sit here and think on it, guys. I just need to think on it real quick. Let me just... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go fight. Footman! Charge. I have to attack quickly. Yes. 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 We haven't lost anyone. We have not lost a single soul. Oh, except for me. That's okay. I, that's, that's, that's okay. I could, I just walked into that mace. All right. We won. <laughs> Only injured is me. That's fine. Joyous occasion. 
not only did we get some great equipment, we also got some food. Uh, is it enough to hold over my army? Absolutely not, but at least it's something. I knew the gods wouldn't abandon me. All right, so we also plundered 174 gold from that. So we're gonna be able to, one, get more soldiers in the army. Don't worry, it costs a lot, but we're gonna sell the loot we just got. We also need to buy some more food. This is the reach. This is like the bread basket of Westeros and the grain is so expensive here. We don't really have a choice. I'm just gonna get 66 worth. Of, of food there and let's go to ashford ashford or whatever and hopefully there's no bandits on the way because i can't afford to fight for a while we might have to do some quest as well like what is what is this guy an army of poachers yeah that's not my problem okay so we're gonna sell everything but the food and that's gonna get a 600 huh, a delicious 600 now with that 600 we can level up our troops let's see what the reach has to offer so the reach can make some pretty cool soldiers oh i like these Tyrell house guard. Oh, wow, dude. Holy smokes. Look at all this. So you have... Wow, look at this guardian of Old Town. All right, so this is what we're going to focus on right now for the Reach. We're going to turn our men into archers, so the Reach Master Archer, pretty good. And then we're also going to train them into the guardian of Old Town, eventually, of course. Because this infantry is better than the infantry of Tyrell House Guard. Um, they've, they're a little bit better with the one-handed and the polearm and everything. We're going to focus on those two. So House Tower Levy and reach bowmen so eight of our troops are ready to be leveled up i'm gonna go ahead and select four to be bowmen so one two three four and then we're gonna do the house how tower levy so one two three four that cost us 88 gold but you know what we should probably buy some more food all right we'll spend 90 gold on food that should hold us over for a little bit so i think what i'm gonna do is just kind of chill at ashford but we can't stay there too long because our army costs 28 gold per day okay i'm at 20 percent health i know that's not amazing but it's enough to where i can lead on the battlefield now we can go and continue to hunt more armies i did see ah yes 15 broken men uh oh okay there's 10 over here now Come on, why you guys always got to stick together and stuff? Like, no, 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 come on. Leave me alone. Yeah, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Come on, let's fight. Come on. I wonder. No, we can't push our luck. Okay, they're separating. They're separating. Let's go for the, let's go for the 15. We can beat the 15. Aha. Watch how, uh, uh watch how disappointed he gets when I tell him we're going to fight. <laughs> all right the balance of power is a little bit in his favor but it's pretty even i think with my master strategic mind we're gonna win this one. Oh yes look at this uh terrain here look at this and we're gonna put the archers like right Archer, here and let's put the infantry Archer, right at the base of the hill let's move men remember what to do you're the men of the reach and you're serving some ironborn loser they have no shields maybe that wasn't a good idea can we get some kills here Come on, archers, please. There we go. I gotta help him. Yeah! Yes! Come on, archers, get him. Victory? Victory! We lost one, but he was only wounded. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. We're coming back, baby. This is a very delicate situation. Okay, guys, so it's a very touch-and-go situation. We gotta be careful here. Uh, so another great victory, which has greatly improved my skills. I'm gonna go with Raise the Meek. So this is going to basically help get all the low level troops uh, to a higher level. So they're going to gain a lot of experience. It's just, it's just going to help us get our feet off the ground, you know, so I'm going to do that. And then also we're going to have morning exercise. So plus three combat movement speed, plus five combat movement speed of troops, your own formation. Let's go. We're going to be able to move fast. Also, some troops are ready to be leveled up. One is going to be a reach bowman and the other is going to be a reach high tower or high tower levy, whatever. Okay. We got to be careful leveling 
building up our troops. Now, the nice thing about being an Ironborn, which I forgot to mention, but their trait is that leveling up your troops to a higher quality is cheaper compared to other factions, other houses and whatnot. So uh, that's nice, but they're still going to be more expensive. So you got to be careful, but I think we've got the money. Woo, okay, I think we're ready. Um, let's go see if we can sneak up on that 10-man army. Come here, you son of a bitch. Oh, there's a 14 army. You know what? I feel like our army's strong enough to take on the 10 and the 14. But the good news is that they divided like a bunch of morons. Oh. Oh. Okay, am I getting a little too ahead of myself? I think I am. No, but seriously, this is not good. So right at the last second, 10 and 14. So a total of 24 troops just turn on my 11 men. Let's see if uh, my troops can hold. All right, my men have shields now. So that's really promising. Uh, there's 18 infantry. That's a lot of infantry. I might try to kite the enemy down. I'm not really too sure, but we do have this nice big hill that we can use. So we're going to try to use it. We need both our infantry and our archer to form a line we we kind of need to use both as infantry. actually set up here set up here to so archers here infantry here all right come on men you're men of the reach i wish i i wish i had cool armor like you guys but i'm wearing a potato sack come on come on come on get a couple get a couple more than that we need more than that we need more than that Come on, guys. Come on! Fight! Oh, they're running? They're running! The cowards! Everyone, charge! Infantry, get the archers. Get the stupid archers. Help, I swear. I can't afford to go down! Help! Guys, is this funny to you? You think it's funny? We lost two bowmen. That really sucks. That really stinks. But we came out on top in a very desperate situation. We do have some prisoners here that can join us, though. So eventually, I'll add them. And we got some troops we can level up. And three of them are ready to be leveled up to high... Uh, leveled up to high, house high tower guard. Jeez, words are hard. Okay, so a great start there. We got a little too ahead of ourselves and got a little too far from Ashford because we need to go back to Ashford and do some trading. We have a considerable amount of loot, uh, which we can turn that into, of course, gold. And I need to start investing in to my own guy because i have like no armor i would like to get some sort of range weapon as well so let's just quick oh there's a tournament over here too Ooh, but i'm so i'm so low on health i could try to join i don't know how long this tournament's gonna last but i'm gonna try first let's do some trading and see how much money we can make here i would love to keep this equipment to kind of work with our blacksmithing i mean we could blacksmith to make some money we don't really have any supplies for blacksmithing. I'm not going to worry about blacksmithing right now, okay? So we're going to get 1,700 gold for that. That's pretty sweet. Let's see if they have any affordable armor that can... Uh, look at my mace. I mean, it literally... It looks like a wooden mace. It looks terrible. I, it, this is... Uh, I need I need help. Okay, well, we could do simple javelins, so that could be our range for now. Okay, next I'm going to get this reinforced cavalry small shield, which is going to be better than my current shield. Check it out. Okay, I like that. As much as I would love to get a sword or something like that, we just can't afford it, so we're going to have to stick to our stupid ugly mace. But we can start to get some armor here, so hopefully we can come across some decent armor. Uh, I mean, here's some padded whatever you have. I mean, that, that's better than nothing. We can also get some shoulder pads. I mean, it looks stupid and terrible, but it, it's all we got. Now, in terms of head armor, we got the merchant hat. <laughs> it adds one armor to our head. Um, as much as I would like that. I mean, how much is it? It costs 66 gold. It's just not worth it, so... <laughs> We're going to put that away. We're going to wait here for some time until I'm about 20% health. And then we're going to join the tournament because the tournaments will only last for a set amount of days. I don't know how many days it's been, but it could end very soon. Okay, this is a little bit of an awkward situation here. We've got Edric Dane army. Uh, I guess they're part of Dorne. So the Reach is at war with Dorn, and they're coming to siege. This is very awkward, but um, 
let's just wait a little bit okay we're at 27 percent health it's not great we're gonna be low health but we should try to fight in the tournament anyways before the siege happens okay well we've got a bunch of crappy soldiers we got paxter red wayne we're taking on mace tyrell oh boy all right well oh look at oh we gotta win this look at this armor okay i'm not gonna bet anything because well we got more money ah, it's i'm not the chances of us winning is low we shouldn't bet anything i'll just be happy to get that armor nice little lag there why is it lagging please stop nice oh damn well uh it's 2v2 oh look at this guy who's who's beating this come on paxter Oh, Paxter. Yeah, enjoy your tournament. You're about to be sieged by Dorn, you bunch of jerks. <clears throat> what, what was your plan there? What was your plan? All right, we lost. We lost. Okay, well, they're about to be under siege. So we pretty much got everything we could out of Ashford. We're going to go ahead and leave. You know, it'd be kind of an interesting mechanic if neutral parties in a city that's about to be sieged, if they could be offered to be paid money to help join the defense, like a temporary, like one day mercenary contract. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. Well, here's something interesting too. The prisoners all want to join us. So I'm going to go ahead and have them, you know, join us i'm feeling much safer now i'm feeling like we're actually doing it guys we're pulling this off i feel like we can uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't feel invincible but i'm feeling pretty proud of what we overcame in a very scary situation all right we caught up with another 10 broken men so uh yeah this is pretty sweet the nice thing about fighting bandits is even though they're outnumbered and we initiated the fight they always charge you and uh yeah this army is legit i shouldn't really call it an army it's just like a band of brothers or something let's go guys let's finish this fools all right everyone charge Dang it, dude. 87 damage. Like, give me a freaking break. All right. Well, the army went in and finished the job for me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna have to reheal my entire, you know, I, I have to work all that rehealing I have to do. We got some prisoners. We also can level up. Wow. Already? This is insanely fast how you can level up these troops. We already have a soldier maxed out. Look at this guy. What in the world is this? helmet it looks like a castle that's uh that's interesting that's uh that's that's uh. let's take the loot well this has been a good start i am very wounded i think we should play it play it cool play it cool and head back to high garden and see what loot or not loot but see what they have in their market i need a helmet honestly like the helmet if there's one piece of armor you want to wear in battle that's a helmet I don't have that. And that's probably why I got shot in the face by an arrow and was like instant wiped out. So we need to get to High Garden and buy some stuff. All right, we safely made it to High Garden. We also should be going to these taverns and looking for companions. Uh, right now, what I would want more than anything is a doctor or a healer so they can keep our soldiers alive. There are some troops we can recruit, which I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now it's time to trade. We're going to get 400 gold right there. That's nice. We already have a 1,500, so we should be able to afford a helmet. Well, does nobody make helmets anymore? Or is it just in a different category? Nobody has a helmet. My poor ugly face. You know, that merchant helmet's uh, looking pretty good right now. Now, during that last battle, I forgot, we leveled up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and improve my endurance and we've got one skill point i might put it into riding eventually i want to get a horse let's put it in steward actually we really got to level up steward um because we want to increase the party size eventually now while we're here there is a tournament going on in hard high garden um we're gonna do the same thing here guys we're gonna wait until we heal up a bit and then we're gonna join the tournament okay i got my health up to 40 percent. i know that's not great it's less than half but i don't want to miss this tournament so we're going to play with half health, essentially. All right, we got a big team battle, four teams. We're blue team. We got anybody interesting. House Tyrell men at arms. We got Brusco of Lorath. That's interesting. Yellow team is stack. We got Loris and Garland. Oh, boy. All right, let's just... Oh, and then we get a camel. Oh. We're just giving out camels. Okay. Once again, I'm not betting on myself because, well, I 
don't have a lot of faith in me winning. These archers, these crossbows, they always aim for me, dude. I'm going to try to use the rock here. I like, uh, you know, not like the wrestler, but this big rock. Yeah. Oh, we knocked out. Nice. Okay. You and me, dude. Yeah. Come on. Reach horseman. All right. Hey, let's focus on this, uh, this guy. He's, uh, he's coming for us. Hey, watch out, man. There we go. That was all me. Okay, let's, uh, let's take out the, f isn't this the, uh, oh, nice. Oh, okay. We're in, we're in, we're in. I could try to fight, but it doesn't matter. We're in. Okay. So now we got a free for all. I, I like free for alls. I don't like not having a shield. Okay. Son of a bitch. Look, guys, as much as I l would love to have the camel, I, I, I could have been the camel guy, you know, just I have a camel. That's that's just what I am. Unfortunately, it's probably going to be a while until we win a tournament, until we have better armor and we improve our skills a little bit because we're kind of outclassed in every tournament. And it's fine joining the tournaments because you don't really lose any money as long as you don't bet on yourself. So, yeah. No big deal. We find ourselves in a little bit of a crossroads here. Uh, we're starting to climb up here. We're, st we're doing better. Our army's almost maxed out at 20. We have almost 2,000 gold. Uh, things are looking good. So I think what we're going to do is probably head up. Uh, let's go back to the Lannister. You know what? Let's actually go for this hideout. This would actually provide us a lot of wealth. We can go to the village that will supply us the quest. It will give us even more gold. I think, it's, I think that's, a, that's a good quest to go for. All right. We're returning to Berry Bush here. Uh, have we been to Berry Bush? Oh, that sounds that sounds kind of gross. I don't I don't know why. We're gonna recruit some. Oh, nice. We can max out our army. Look at that. All right, we are officially maxed out, and now we have to go find uh, someone who can give us this quest. But here's the thing, guys. We're out of time. We're out of time. This is going to be the end of the episode. The first great episode of Steven Ironhorn. This episode was full of ups and downs, but we're trending upward. This is a promising site. And in the next episode, we're going to find who can give us a quest to take out this hideout. If not, we'll just go for the hideout anyways. And we're going to make some money, guys. And we're going to continue to recruit and build and potentially join a faction to make even more money and get into some big battles it'll be a lot of fun to kind of play as a neutral party helping out whoever will pay us the most because remember our end goal is to seek revenge on the iron isles to wipe out the gray joys and especially wipe out the good brother house good brother so guys thank you so much for watching today's episode it's been a lot of fun and i'll see you next time in westeros